Hello there, my name is Betsy Mowers. I am a Senior Talent Acquisition Specialist here at Stone Ridge. Today, I have the pleasure of telling you how you can use utilize Copilot to make masterpieces made in minutes in Microsoft Word. Today, I'm gonna explain just a little bit of the nuts and bolts of Copilot within Microsoft Word. Then I'm gonna show you really specific use cases of how I use Copilot on a day-to-day -day basis with a fun twist. I hope this will provide you with new ideas on how you can use Copilot in your workday. Let's jump in. So first off, I wanna show you that there's two ways that you can access Copilot. Um, one is right here, right when you open up a Word document, you can click here and it will, you can ask Copilot pretty much anything. Um, you can also access Copilot up here in your banner. If you go into the banner, there are some icons that I wanted to point out to you. There is a new feature, like I think day is old, um, that you can add an image. You can view different prompts for inspiration, manage content preferences, and the microphone. So I'll walk you through each one just a little bit. Um, the image, I'll show you in in good faith um, an example here in a little bit, but you could paste an image and ask it really anything about that image. You could ask it to create an image from that image, um, all sorts of different things. This one, the view prompts is what I do like, I do like quite a bit. Um, this gives you different ideas of prompts that you could use. Let's say you had a resume and you wanted to know, right, like make it sound more confident. You wanted to review someone's resume, understand it quickly, summarize it, all of these different things. Um, there is a lot of different prompts that you can look at. You can also click this button and go to your saved prompts. So then you would only pull up the ones that you have saved. Um, let's say you don't have what you're looking for. Microsoft also has this really great resource um, that shows you other prompts that you can try. What I like about this page specifically is that again, you can look at your saved prompts, but let's say I'm not in Microsoft Word and I'm in Microsoft Teams and or in OneNote or all the other platforms, you can actually search by the app. So feel free, like the, the world is your oyster. Um, you can also look by tasks and you can also look by different job types, departments, industries, education, um, all different things. That is another great resource. So I wanted to point that one out to you. Um, and then the next one is to manage the content. So do you want when you ask Copilot, do you only want it to pull content from your cloud, your OneDrive, your Microsoft Graph, or do you want it to pull from the web as well? This is the toggle on and off of what, what if you don't want it on web. So great resource there. And then you can also turn off the microphone. Um, just another thing to point out. So there is all of that. Um, one important thing I kind of want to point out with the managed content preferences is that it is important to save your documents and files to OneDrive. Your OneDrive is connected to the cloud and the cloud is what enables Microsoft Copilot to really add an extension and it connects all services and access to organizational data, including emails, chats, documents, and meetings. So if you ask it a question, it can pull from all of that different all those different resources if it's not saved to your OneDrive that context would not be included when Copilot looks to gather a response for you so one thing I do want to point out there so let's have some fun um, first I want to show you how to do a little bit of research within Copilot it's as simple as I'm going to put a prompt in here and I am just gonna ask it to tell me a little bit more about Eric Newell's Dynamics book. Um, some of you may or may not know, but Eric did write a book about Microsoft Dynamics implementations. Um, here we are. 
there is information. And if we look, I love this, there's different reference points. So if you pull up here, it will show that this one is an internal resource and this one is also an internal resource. So you can look at the different references. You can even click on these. They will open up those documents so you can read more about that information. Um, all right, I wanna have a little bit more fun. I, not that Eric's not fun and Dynamics is not fun, but I wanna show you that, can, that Copilot can create images for you. Let's try to create a character of me um, with, I don't know, let's say holiday attire with the Minneapolis skyline. And let's see if, if Copilot will come up with a photo that is maybe similar. We'll see what, what it does here. Okay. So here are some images of me. Um, as you know, Copilot is, is AI. So I said long blonde hair, but it has white hair. Um, so we could always change that prompt to change it a little bit. One thing I was just playing around with is you can actually, as mentioned earlier, you can paste a picture in here. So let's paste a picture, my headshot. Um, please take this image and create a cartoon character with holiday attire. Let's see if maybe this one will match a little bit closer to or what I look like on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so now they're totally different images, which, you know, they're all fun. Um, but maybe I would need to edit my prompt just a little bit more to get a more accurate picture. The fun thing is, is that every time I do this, no picture is the same that Copilot has shared with me. So it is it is trial and error for sure. Um, all right, let's create something we can do a little more work with. In my role, I use I tend to use Copilot in Microsoft Word to assist in job descriptions, rephrasing, summarizing documents, and generating interview questions based on a certain job description. Since this information I typically use is confidential, we're going to try to help my friend Buddy the Elf um, first start his resume and maybe even see if he is a fit for one of our roles that we have open right now. So over here in Copilot, I already went on to LinkedIn and I got Buddy the Elf's LinkedIn profile. So I am going to copy and paste his profile here. Um, and we will see what Copilot can do. Here it is, it's contact information. I kind of think this is, they're all very funny, right? He's a cheerful, cheerful elf with a passion for spreading holiday cheer. Sounds just like him. Um, so we can go ahead and copy this and then we could paste it right here into our, our Word document and then we could format it, edit it any way that we wanted. Let's say, as I mentioned, we really want, we're looking for the right sales executive right now, and Buddy the Elf might be our candidate. So if Buddy wanted to apply, he could write a tailored response, resume for a sales executive for his LinkedIn. So just by tweaking the prompt itself, Copilot already goes ahead and starts really changing the adjectives within the resume. So they're not very different, but it's just how the wording is phrased in the document itself. Um, so leading with a sales associate right on the front end. So something to, something to have fun there with. Now, let's say Buddy needs to be compared to another candidate. I already had somebody in mind, so I pulled Mr. Santa Claus's LinkedIn, um, and I wanna create a sales executive resume for him. So let's post it and see what Copilot does here. Again, it's pretty quick to create this. Um,
and they are really funny resumes, like really, I think they're great content. Um, so I have these documents saved already for Santa Claus and Buddy BL. What we also need to do is we need help creating a Microsoft Dynamics sales executive role, right? Like what are we gonna compare Buddy the Elf and Santa Claus to, to know if they're qualified or not for this role? So I am going to have Copilot help me a little bit. Um, and what's great is that Copilot is using everything in our OneDrive like I spoke about earlier and pulling how we have our jobs currently set up and templated. Um, so it pulls our job title, our location and our company, and our about us, our job description, it's a little bit differently, um, but responsibilities, we call it a day in the life and then preferred qualification. Um, so it's very similar to what we have already. And I believe that they, they used our OneDrive as well as what is on our career site right now. So now we have a wonderful job description. It says everything we need for our qualifications. So let's go ahead and see who is going to be the best candidate um and what i will do is i will just kind of clear my space here um and what we're going to do is if you hit alt i it'll pull up the draft on the top it will also do that if you click on the copilot here in the word document what i want to do now is i want to create a draft that says, I am the hiring manager for a professional services consulting company, and I am looking to compare said candidates to job description, um, who's most qualified. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that prompt in here. And now if I could either click the paper paperclip icon and add it there, or you can hit the backslash and I could type in Buddy the Elf, I could type in Santa Claus and I could type in sales executive. Here we go. Um, and then you hit generate. From my understanding, you can only ask Copilot to compare three documents in the draft option right now, but always improving, always doing different things. Um, so if you look at this, it was very quick, right? It tells us a little bit about the job, right, that we had in our job description. It talks about Buddy the Elf, his professional summary, as well as Santa Claus's professional summary. And then it gives in the ranking of candidates. Um, Santa Claus is ranked as the most qualified, which is pretty neat. Um, so it says here, right, the skills that align well for the, for the Microsoft Dynamics executive position. Buddy the Elf has extensive sales experience, but Santa Claus leadership experience and proven ability to manage a team make him the top choice for the role. So I might have to be talking to Santa Claus soon for our open sales executives role. Um, in closing, it's always a good reminder that Copilot does not replace our job as humans. It's a tool to help us. Use Copilot to help summarize your documents, pull out key points, search for internal and web-based content, documentation, and so much more. I hope I was able to create new ideas for you on how you can utilize Copilot in your workday.